in general, what we know is that uh, during the disease course, uh, one of the main things and one of the most robust findings is a, a general diffuse slowing of brain activity. So we have a few, uh, we like to, if we look at brain activity, we like to divide this up in different frequency bands. And then you have the slower uh, delta and theta frequency bands. So that's up to eight hertz. And then above that, you get the faster alpha, beta, and gamma bands, which is generally regarded as, as good activity that you would like to have and like to keep. Um, and then what we see in Alzheimer's disease is that you see uh, there's uh, the alpha activity around 10 hertz is usually quite prominent in uh, in healthy persons and we that's mainly localized at the back of the brain so we also call that the posterior dominant rhythm and you see a gradual slowing of this rhythm uh towards uh, the theta range so uh, towards nine eight and even below eight hertz that is i think the most widely known um uh change and then if you look at more advanced measures of brain activity, we now also know that you have um, a loss of uh, what we call functional connectivity. So the communication between brain regions starts to uh, weaken. And um, uh, well, then with more advanced network analysis, you can also show that this happens primarily in, in important regions, so highly connected hub regions. And uh, while well, there are more subtle uh, changes that we see in dementia, but I think this would be the, the overall picture. So slowing and loss of connectivity.